I downloaded this video from YouTube. And you see that YouTube's digital compression cuts off the frequency limit to around 17 kilohertz. That at 16 kilohertz, the frequency response is starting to roll off. And after 17 kilohertz, there's nothing there. And at lower frequencies, uh, they still look like a sine wave, okay? <laughs> But if you go higher, let's say at uh, uh, so even at 10 kilohertz, the sine wave is starting to look like a triangular wave. That's because a one wavelength of 10 kilohertz there are only four samples using a 44.1 kilohertz sampling rate that's the reason why at 10 kilohertz the sine wave look starts to look more like steeper or they look more like a triangular wave and many people 50 years old or younger can still hear this frequency of 10 kilohertz but I have no idea if you can hear the difference between a 10 kilohertz sine wave and a 10 kilohertz triangular wave because there are accusations that the compact disc's 44.1 kilohertz sampling rate is not high enough. But I can actually get a 10 kilohertz sine wave instead of triangular wave by s speeding up the video. So, to speed up the video, just hold on the control button and squeeze like this. This is as far as you can get. It's now four times faster than normal. This is the fastest Vegas can get by default. Although it can go faster if I do some tweaks, but by default, this is the fastest it can get. Now, now uh, that despite it's now. Uh, four times faster than normal but if you if I play this one kilohertz it still sounds like one kilohertz that's because only the speed had changed the pitch is not which is not good for this experiment uh, to change the pitch in proportion to speed so that if I increase the speed four times faster the pitch will also sound four times higher so point the cursor to the sound section and then then right click then properties and then lock to stretch and then okay now the pitch now change in proportion to the speed so one kilohertz now sounds like four kilohertz and if I go to uh, 2.5 kilohertz so at 2.5 kilohertz times 4 so this is already at 10 kilohertz sound because because I sped this up 4 times faster but even it's a 10 kilohertz sound but this time I finally get a 10 kilohertz sine wave so it's equivalent to 44.1 kilohertz times 4 so this is equivalent to uh, 176.4 kilohertz sampling rate so I'm gonna show you some experiment of this so I'm gonna render this video First, I'm going to render this using 44.1 kHz 16-bit, just like a compact disc. Okay, I'm going to render it again. Uh, but this time, I'm going to use a higher sampling rate at 
48 kHz 24 bit so 48 uh, 24 bit and I'm gonna render it again this time I'm gonna use a 96 kilohertz 24 bit so 96 kilohertz 24 bit okay now I'm gonna find those video of these audios that I rendered so here's the 44.1 kilohertz 16 bit The next is the 48 kilohertz 24 bit. And then finally the 96 kilohertz 24 bit. Okay. Oops. The original is mono, but I rendered them in stereo. So I'm gonna combine both channels to make them mono, just like the original. So I'm gonna right click and then channels combined. I'll do the same to the rest. Combine and then combine. Okay. So you see that at one kilohertz, I sped this up four times faster. So this one kilohertz is now four kilohertz. Now remember that it's equivalent to 44.1 kilohertz times four. So this is already a 176.4 kilohertz sampling rate in the original so at 4 kilohertz the original is still a sine wave and then the other one which which I rendered using a 44.1 kilohertz sampling rate like a compact disc it still look like a sine wave just like the original and at 48 kilohertz it's still a sine wave and at 96 kilohertz sampling rate it's still a sine wave but if we go to a higher frequency like a let's go even higher okay 2.5 kilohertz times 4 so this is already at 10 kilohertz frequency you see that the original at 176.4 kHz sampling rate at 10 kHz it's still a sine wave but at 44.1 kHz the sine wave is they look more like steeper now they look more like a triangular wave because one wavelength of 10 kHz there are only four samples on a one wavelength of 10 kHz if you use a 44.1 kHz sampling rate so the sine wave they look more like a triangular wave just like i mentioned earlier that there are accusations that compact discs sampling rate is not high enough and people 50 years old and younger can still hear this frequency but i have no idea if you can hear the difference between a 10 kilohertz sine wave and a 10 kilohertz a triangular wave and at 48 kilohertz it's slightly better but it, they still look more like a triangular wave but at 96 kilohertz sampling rate they still look more like a sine wave just like the original 176.4 kilohertz sampling rate so let's go even higher
Oops. Gone too far. There. So 4 kilohertz times 4. This is already a 16 kilohertz frequency. And you see that in the original 176.4 kilohertz sampling rate, the 16 kilohertz still look like a sine wave. But at 44.1 kilohertz, they look very much deeper. They look more like a triangular wave in chaos. That, but at 48 kilohertz, they look more like a triangle wave still, but they're slightly better. But at 96 kilohertz, they're more still more faithful to the original uh, 176 kilohertz sampling rate. Now remember, most teenagers can still hear the 10 kilohertz. Of the 16 kilohertz frequency so this is 4 kilohertz times 4 this is a 16 kilohertz in which most teenagers can still hear but then again I have no idea if they can still hear the difference difference between a, a 16 kilohertz sine wave and a, a 16 kilohertz triangular wave and then let's go even higher Ooh. This is the limit. Oops. Here we go. Okay, this is 5 kilohertz times 4. So this is already a 20 kilohertz frequency, the highest maximum frequency of human hearing. So the original at 176.4 uh, kilohertz sampling rate it's still a sine wave but at compact this 44.1 kilohertz it can still somewhat respond but it's chaotic that the amplitude they look more like a triangular wave and then the amplitude is not even uniform at 48 kilohertz they still look more like a triangular wave but the amplitude is slightly better than the 44.1 kilohertz but at 96 kilohertz the sine wave only look more like a triangular wave but they still more closer to the original 176.4 kilohertz sampling rate by the way if you wonder why is it that these wave files that I rendered has more limited frequency response than this original YouTube file because like I said I sped up this original YouTube file four times faster so the frequency is also four times higher which means that at 5 kilohertz the frequency is already 20 kilohertz which using a 44.1 kilohertz sampling rate the same sampling rate as a compact disc the frequency response is starting to roll off while at 48 kilohertz sampling rate it can still go up to around there oops around here before it starts to roll off so so 6 kilohertz times 4 is 24 kilohertz it can go over there while the bottom this one because I render this using a 96 kilohertz sampling rate it still can go up to around there because 12 kilohertz times 4 is 48 kilohertz that's the maximum frequency response at 96 kilohertz sampling rate because the frequency response is half the sampling rate while this original YouTube file because I sped this up four times faster so 44.1 kilohertz times 4 this is equivalent to 176.4 kilohertz sampling rate although YouTube's digital compression is still evident that limits the frequency around here because this is because of the YouTube's digital compression which is which has nothing to do with the original file from the uploader so you can by speeding up the video four times faster you still can go up to oh 17 kilohertz times four then you got the idea okay that's all